welcome again to our Lent series, Day 33, Fifth Sunday of Lent. We are almost there. We continue our reflection on the Eucharist and we would like to answer the following questions. 1. What is the first before Holy Communion? To show our reverence and respect for the most sacred food, we fast for some time before receiving the Eucharist. The modern rule is very easy to follow, that we do not eat or drink at least one hour before the Holy Communion. The time is calculated from the approximate time of receiving Communion, not from the time Mass begins. Medicine never breaks the fast. Water may be taken at any time. Question number two. Why are non-Catholics who come to Mass not allowed to receive the Eucharist with us? The Eucharist celebrates our unity. That is, this sacrament makes us one and is a sign of our communion as members of the Church. The Eucharist is for those who are already in communion with one another in the community of the church. Those who celebrate the Eucharist in Catholic dioceses, parishes and communities are in communion with the Pope and the bishops of the Catholic Church. Our separated Christians are not part of that visible communion of the people. Moreover, there is another problem. Some separated Christians do not even believe in the reality of the Eucharist, as this has been handed on within the church. Question number three. Are there special conditions on receiving the Eucharist? Yes. Two conditions I will give today. One, one must be a Catholic and in a good standing with the church. And two, you must also obey the Eucharistic fast and not be in a state of mortal sin. We read this in the document Ecclesia de Eucharistia, number 37. Let us continue to search more and more knowledge to understand the Eucharist, how we should receive it, and when we should receive it the graces we get from it, and how it helps us to keep our communion. Keep the questions coming, and I wish you a blessed Lenten season. Thank you very much, and God bless you.